Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 20 past 7 on Monday the 24th of April. I'm currently reading Ghosts and Other Plays by Henrik Ibsen, although I'm like 10 pages off the end. It's probably going to be a 3.5 out of 5 unless something major happens. I might read The Inheritors by William Golding next, we'll see. I'm going to go and make stir fry in a minute. I have someone coming to fit a smart meter at my house tomorrow. And I'm very tired. On with the reading vlog. Dane reads. Alrighty, hello everybody. Um, I, I, it is, what is it? It's ten past four on Thursday the 27th of April. I've uh, had a pro quite productive day. I've been a morning person this week, which is unusual for me. Um, so I've already been into town earlier. And uh, yeah, I've done most of my like work for today really i am going to do some timed work later because i have like timed and untimed it's complicated i'm not going to bother telling you about it i do have a q and a i need to leave at, lead at seven but i actually have some stuff to talk about to fill the awkward silences this week um i didn't on monday so that was kind of awkward i finished reading ghosts and other plays by henrik ibsen that was a um like a 3.5 out of 5 uh, is I, I read The Inheritors by William Golding. This was an, also a 3.5 out of 5. Golding being the guy who wrote um, uh, Lord of the Flies. And this one, it, like, it's kind of similar, but except it's like dealing with um, like Neanderthal Man. I mean, it's not similar in terms of the plot isn't similar, but it's got like similar writing style, similar vibes, all of that good stuff. Um, and I'm now just near the end of Hamish and the, Nev and the World Stoppers by Danny Wallace, which is middle grade. Uh, this is about... This guy, this kid who goes to a school and all that sort of stuff. He lives in the UK's fourth most boring town. And suddenly time keeps stopping. And, um, yeah, these, like, monsters start attacking. And the kids kind of have to save the world. So I'm enjoying that. And I also have uh, Hamish and the Never People, which I might read next. Because I've just been enjoying reading it, you know. So that's where I'm at. Um, I will update you shortly later on this week, I suppose. I'm just doing some, catching up with some filming now, you know. Hello, it's little old me. It is currently ten past three on Friday the 28th of April. Um, I have a client call at five and then hopefully after that Shay and I are potentially going to go bowling into Weatherspoons. We will see. She's currently napping through there so the door is closed. Um, I finished reading Hamish and the Wor World Stoppers by Danny Wallace. That was a four out of five. Very good. I'm now reading Hamish and the Never People which is also very good so far. Probably going to be another four out of five. Um, and it just continues from where the last one left off in this one. Uh, there's like a mirror image of London, well a mirror image of the whole world really, and we all have opposites, so like I would have a female opposite called Diane, um, and Shay would have a male opposite called Shane, and all of that stuff, and these, this shady dude is basically going around wiping out the opposites, and then that makes us half-wits, um, so the Prime Minister is like, mad basically and he's going after the the queen and the king in the opposite universe even though it would be the opposite again over here i suppose but anyway that's pretty good after that i'm not sure what i'm going to read i did get a huge job lot of arthur c Clarke books in the post today so i'm, I'm going to probably make a start on those i gotta hold them in a minute doing a little bit of filming and editing and then later on i will just crack on with more productivity and stuff Hello, it's a bit red in here because the sun is like directly over there where the windows are and so I've got my curtains closed and my curtains are red. It is currently 5 to 6 on Saturday the 29th of April 2023. I'm very tired at the moment. Um, I just had some fizzy cola laces which was nice. I think I'm going to make a sausage sandwich in a bit. I'm just sort of generally pottering around and being productive. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be awake even though I haven't been awake for long in the first place. Um, we will see. Maybe I'll do a little wonder to uh, Morrison's and get some energy drinks or something. I'm just chilling and being productive. Yesterday I caught up with like all of my filming and all of my uh, timed work because I do a lot of work on timers where I have to work for a certain amount of time. Um, I'm back the other way around now so um, I still need to do like another, what, 75 minutes of timed stuff today. That's fine. Uh, Shay is working this evening. She made some Hello Kitty art yesterday, which is very cute. Um, I finished reading uh, Hamish and the Never People by Danny Wallace. That was a four out of five. And now I'm reading uh, How to Speak Dragonese by Cressida Cowell, which I think is book three in the How to Train Your Dragon series. It's just okay for now. It's like 3.5 out of five. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Um, so that's where I'm at. Hello, it is Sunday the 30th of April 2023 at about quarter to six in the evening. I finished reading How to Speak Dragonese, 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading How to Betray a Dragon's Hero, probably going to be another 3.5 out of 5. We will see how it goes, it's alright so far. Just cracking on and being productive. Uh, Shay worked yesterday, I stayed home, I watched loads of stuff on Netflix and got some writing done, so that's all good. Um, no calls today, but I have 
three that I know of tomorrow, possibly more. So that's going to be grim. Um, I'm going to go and make miso stir fry later, I think, which will be nice. I had a sausage sandwich yesterday. And that's about it. I haven't got much more for you. It's just keeping on keeping on, really. Um, I'm going to keep this vlog going for another week because I haven't had too much to say to you guys. So I will see you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. It's me. It is currently... What's up? Fuck Google. Shay's here. You can wave. Hi. Hi. I hope your day goes great. Thank you. Always here if you need me. <laughs> Thank you, Google. Um, it is currently 20 past nine on uh, Tuesday, the 2nd of uh, May. It's Shay's birthday in 10 days. Woo woo. Woo woo. She's, she's going to be old, officially old. Um, I'm currently reading Tales of Ten Worlds by Arthur C. Clarke. I've almost finished it. It's pretty good. Uh, 3.5 out of 5 for that one. Really interesting short stories. Got like your whole. Uh, advancement of science and then the ethical dilemmas that brings and uh, you know is technology a good thing you decide all of that stuff so I am enjoying reading that I think up next I'm gonna read the death of mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware um, I had a radio show interview earlier which was good I've caught up with my filming got most of my tidying done gonna go and make uh, burgers in a minute and then Shay and I will probably cuddle up and watch some uh, SpongeBob SquarePants yo it's bright outside um, it is currently ten past three on Wednesday the 3rd of May um, Shay is currently through there in the bedroom getting some uh, beauty sleep not that she needs it um, My cleaner is coming later at some point. I don't know when been out to the shops I've been pottering about doing some of my housework been doing some of my work all is going well um, So I don't have too much left to do. I'm, I'm probably gonna do some wee fit later on um, because that's currently my thing. I finished reading Tales of Ten Worlds by Arthur C. Clarke, probably like 3.5, maybe a 4 out of 5 if I'm feeling generous. Um, and I'm now reading June House of Trades Volume 3 by Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson, Deb Framanick and Alex Guimarães. I've enjoyed all the other ones in this. This is the third and final, um, like they're kind of bind ups of comics basically, but this is the last one in the series. And then I will have officially read everything June, and so after that, I'm probably going to read The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware, which is up there and it's looking at me. Um, so, yes, and now I'm going to go and do a little bit of, bit of editing. Hello and greetings. It is uh, 11 pm on Thursday, the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. Um, I finished reading the June graphic novel, 4 out of 5, very good. I'm now reading uh, The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. So far it's alright, on course to be a 3.5 out of 5, it's very typically Ruth Ware. Maybe the least engaging of her books so far, um, but I get the feeling it's about to ramp up. So we will see how that goes. Uh, cleaner came round earlier, I did my weekly Q&A, well the second of my weekly Q&As for one of my US clients. Um, what else? Me and Shay went into town. Shay has been making some bowls. I will link again to her Etsy below. Check it out. Um, support a, a clay maker, a, a clartist, a bomber clartist. Um, next up, I'm probably going to read Dolphin Island by Arthur C. Clarke. We'll see. And in a little bit, I'm going to make some food because I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, and I've got some asparagus that I grew in the garden, so I'm going to eat that with some like uh, vegan fish style fillets and some mashed potato. So yes, it's going to be very good. That is all I have to update you. Um, I don't know what we've got planned this weekend. We will see. I've got the next thing as far as ahead as I've planned is I've got a call at 1 p.m. tomorrow. So yes. Hello, people of the internet. Shay has done my hair, and she says I look very cute. Um, it is currently quarter to 11 on the evening of Friday the 5th of May. I'm still reading The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. It's still alright. I don't have a huge amount to update you on, to be honest. I'm going to go make tofu scramble in a minute. Oh no, Shay Shay. She's nodding. Are you shy or just angry? Both. Both. She's playing Sims and she's struggling to get the fucking crystals. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make Shay some food. I think she's going to do some um, pottery later. Her pottery is really coming along. She's got three bowls now up in Etsy. Again, link below. Do go and favourite it um, because it all helps. And uh, yeah, you're going to eat some food and you're going to do a face mask, aren't you, Shay? Yeah. Hello, everybody. It is currently um, quarter to two on Saturday the 6th of May. No real updates for you. I'm still reading The Death of Mrs. Westaway. Um... Some people came around to fix the broken fence panel in my garden yesterday, which was nice. And uh, I got an Asda shop coming later. In the meantime, I'm just cracking on and being productive. I thought I'd film a little thing to say hello to you. But yes, as I say, no major updates. Um, I'll, up I'll update you tomorrow when hopefully there is a major update, but a good major update, not a bad one. 
Hello, it is currently uh, 10 past 6 on Sunday the 7th of May 2023. Uh, Shay has got a sore head today because she had a girl's night out yesterday, so I'm waiting for her to wake up and then hopefully going to do a barbecue. I'm actually going to wake her up soon if she doesn't. Uh, she didn't sleep very well the night before, so that's all fair enough. Uh, other than that, I've just been cracking on reading, being productive, all of that stuff. I've got a client who's refusing to pay me because uh, an AI checker has flagged that one of my articles was written by AI. It wasn't so now I'm like great I've done all this work and I'm not gonna get paid for it which is a bit of a bummer I'm currently reading Dolphin Island by Arthur C Clarke I'm right at the end it is very good four out of five um, basically it's like science fiction meets uh, Robinson Crusoe this kid stows away on a ship and ends up on this island off the coast of um, Australia in the Great Barrier Reef and they're doing research there to talk to dolphins and all that kind of stuff it's very cool up next I'm probably gonna read prophecy by Peter James um, but it is the end of the week so I'm gonna love you and leave you here so thanks as always for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye